want to lie to yourself about this going on or you feel so powerless you don't think you can do anything to stop it at least get out of our way those of us that want to survive and those of us that don't want to sign on to this nightmare because the enemy will fall on their strength they will fall on the fact that it is so over the top and they think people coming face to face with this will rationalize it or deny it and won't deal with it but the truth is Historically, no matter how high-tech their mind control is, people will finally wake up in the final equation and we will turn the tables on these people. Because they're going to do everything we've talked about here today. And if we're able to back them off and slow them down, that's good. But they have every intention of trying to carry this out. And hasn't enough of their plan to come to fruition for all of you out there now to know it's really as bad as I say it is? How much worse does it have to get? Look at these headlines. Illegals protest outside White House. No fear of arrest. Senator Sessions, Americans will not accept nullification of their laws. Perry, what we're doing is a crime. I like the fact that uh, that's being said. How many more kids are going to be put on the top of trains? Half a million, a million, five million? So I've got to say this. Rick Perry is now doing what I said he should do. He's saying it is a premeditated crime. And so we salute Rick Perry. I don't just want to attack Rick Perry for no reason. I want him to say what's happening like Ted Cruz and Rand Paul. I want us to face what's happened. That's the only way to stop this. And again, just the issue of the collapsing border is only part of a larger program. Let's go back to the headlines. Democrats, legalization will help reduce the deficit. That's a quote from C-SPAN. We're going to play that later. I've been reporting on this for months, but now it's, it's hitting the news. Make $7,000 per month. It's between $6,000 and $8,000, the ads we've seen, fostering adult illegals. See, there's the new scam. The feds are using the federal CPS money, the social worker money, to let Democrats warehouse at their homes illegals and make money off of it. $7,000 a month to keep three people at your house. You stick them in one room with some mattresses and feed them. What's that cost? $1,000? $2,000? And you make $5,000. You see how they're taking the economy and paying their people. That's how they're taking over. This is organized crime. This is racketeering by the definition. Residents revolt. What we see is an invasion, deliberate invasion. DFW Dallas, CBS, Jerry Brown makes religious appeal to open borders, manipulating Christians, working with the 501c3 state-run churches. Right-wing Baptist churches, left-wing Catholic churches, they're all state-run, folks. And the Republican leadership is doing nothing. We're going to come back in this segment, the next, and talk to Mike, Shelby, Andrew, John, and Mike, and others. Mick and others to get your take on impeachment. Look, I get the fact that Obama is totally unpopular. Hillary went on CNN and badmouthed him and said she likes George W. Bush yesterday. That's her positioning to run for president. And CNN didn't even call her on it. The media is like, well, she's pretty conservative. I heard her saying the open borders is wrong yesterday. She runs Obama. Are you going to fall for that trick, folks? And again, Rick Perry, I don't trust Rick Perry, but I said I would endorse what he's saying and doing if he started calling it criminal and deliberate. That's an important thing to do because it is deliberate. It's premeditated. Big difference. We can't just let him play dumb anymore. You can't let Rick Perry play dumb. And I know our listeners are contacting Rick Perry. Good job. Now, Rick, 
You need to load these people up on buses and start driving them to the Mexican border and demanding they take them because they're the ones that gave them passage. you got to stop them at the border legally to prove they came out of Mexico because under international law, Mexico's got to take them back if they are the last country that they traveled through. Again, folks, they know all this. The Border Patrol knows how to stop this. They've been telling Rick Perry how to do it. <sighs> Briefly, please remember this transmission is listener supported, and so we bring you the very best products at lowest prices, whether it be super high quality stainless steel, gravity fed filters of Pro Pure, discounted with a free stainless steel stand right now. Promo code WATER gets you 10% off at InfoWarsStore.com. We have uh, up on the uh, InfoWarsStore.com in the Pro Pure area the on the ground taste test report, which was absolutely, you know, pillar to post. People voted for the water that had been through ProPure rather than Austin Water. 10% off promo code WATER and get the wire stand. The wire stand special is about to end. Uh, you can also get a 25% off on the fluoride shield with Nation Iodine Survival Shield bottle. Together, 25% off both. That special will end on Friday. That's available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Teenagers like me used to think our parents were just weird because they put their phones and computers inside those flimsy little fake leather cases. Then my folks both got a block at pocket. Mom knows it keeps her safe from the phone's radiation. Dad knows it keeps his information private. I like my block at pocket because it blocks hacking and tracking. Awesome. Blockatpocket.com has other cool stuff too. Huh, guess my parents aren't so weird. Get your block at pocket at blockatpocket.com. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Alex Jones here back live. I hear the Representative Van Hollen says legalizing illegals will reduce the deficit. He was asked about uh, what all the illegals will do to wages and workers. Well, Ross Perot told us what it would do, and he told us what NAFTA and GATT would do. He said it would hurt the U.S. and Mexico, and it did. It did. It deindustrialized both countries. The long race to the bottom. Let's go to Van Hollen. Uh, telling us uh, that uh, the sky is not blue. 
just came from a hearing uh, with the nonpartisan director of the Congressional Budget Office who testified that if you passed the Senate bipartisan bill, you will reduce the deficit and increase long-term economic growth in the United States. I'm afraid I'm going to... And of course, that was a larger bill with a bunch of other issues in it, but he just says that means legalizing everyone uh, will do this. Some of the headlines up on Infowars.com, Australian government pushing internet tax to, quote, pay for NSA-style spying. They say the tax will be used to spy on you. Global elite are agitating for open war with Russia. Homeland Security agents raid home to seize Land Rover for violation of EPA regulations. They also raid Amish people that sell milk, but the border is wide open. New York police harvest innocent cell users' data to track flag vandals. That's just some of the news up on Infowars.com. Photos emerge of 10 active militia teams securing the U.S. border, but they can't really secure it because if you give them to the feds, they just release them. Now, I want to keep pointing that out, not putting the militia groups down, but... Uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's like the National Guard's just delivery boys for the illegals. There's another report by Washington's blog. All the countries which the U.S. or the globalists have had regime change in, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya, have descended into brutal chaos. Now I ask the question in this segment the next, ahead of the top NSA whistleblower, William Benny, joining us. I ask the question, to impeach or not to impeach, that is the question. Whether it is nobler to sit here and let Obama butcher the country from pillar to post and set the precedent to commit arbitrary racketeering crimes against the republic, or whether we should do the right thing and impeach him because it's called justice to send a message to scare all the globalists out there. Mick in Louisiana, you're on the air, thanks for holding. What's your take on this important question? Yes, thank you, Alex. Uh, I'd like to point out an unsung hero, then I'm going to give my statement on this impeachment. Uh, if you go to Koto Crew, C O T O Crew, C R E W dot WordPress dot com, Bob, my new hero. Uh, that's Koto Crew, WordPress dot com. Uh, sir, you got to tell me, you got to tell me, you're, you're, you go ahead. There it is. Yes, I would love to see impeachment. It would be wonderful. Yes, it would arouse the liberal base, but more importantly, it would arouse the disenfranchised, angry masses. And that's why we're not going to see it. They do not want the power elites, do not want to awaken the angry masses, because then both parties would be discredited. That's right. We they don't want to be brought to justice. They don't want the whole can of worms to come out, just like they went after Clinton for lying about sex instead of Laura Allen Hughes' missile secrets to the chi -coms, because the Republicans were involved in that as well. I totally agree with you. And, and look, I'm not against people plugging websites. It's just giving out web URLs doesn't work. You want to give out a headline from the website that originates from that website. That's how you plug stuff. Uh, so, so that's the best way for people to do that. Thank you so much. Great points, Mick. Shelby, real fast, to impeach or not to impeach? We absolutely have to impeach him if we want to continue to call ourselves Christians and Americans. Um, let's see here. His, his oath of office, he says, I do solemnly swear or affirm I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States and will best my ability to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. And in the State of the Union address, he says, I tend to keep trying with or without Congress to help stop more tragedies from visiting us and Americans in our movie theater job. Stay Mall. there. I'm going to come back and let you finish. Stay with us. We'll be back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can I taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered with the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of 
major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. The Pro Pure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your Pro Pure purchase or call 1 888 253 3139. 